If the first episode was titled Apollo Sun God, I'd be excited. But now that I know who Apollo is and this is the second episode, I'm like, all right, fuck, it's Apollo again. Here we go. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with uh, Don Machi, or is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? Season 2, Episode 2, Apollo the Sun God. Last episode, we had a banquet of the gods invited, hosted by Apollo. Um, which was there for meeting and greeting new people, but was actually used to call out Hestia and Bell for their starting a fight at the at the bar. And so they challenged us to a war game. I'm excited to see what that's all about. That's pretty much the gist of the entire episode. We got some little tidbits of Freya, some other people, you know, some crazy shit. But with that being said, if you guys want early access and full length to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, make sure to check out that Patreon down below. If you guys want to support and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment down below, it really helps me with the algorithm and I truly, truly appreciate it. Don't forget to follow all my socials, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch at Dapper Darius. I appreciate y'all. Let's hop into this Don Machi season two, episode two, Apollo Sun God. I won't lie, I like his fit. He's pretty wavy with a little Greek with a suit with a Greek thing with a little thing with the thing, but he's a he's a prick. Oh. Oh. Oh, so Apollo Apollo's a freaky freak. Oh, just accept it. We'll win, Hestia. Oh, there's the guy who started the fight with us to level three. See, we're going to have to turn level three and beat his ass. It's my prediction. Duels. But we only have one member of our familia. What? I thought it would be more Olympic style with like sporting events. No, I didn't think it'd be an all out battle royale. Okay, so we decline your war game, so you just straight up terrorize our house and try to blow us up, murder us. Yeah, where's Ryu? Ryu might help us out. Ryu's taken out a couple of familias in her past. They said White Hair's place. It is White Hair's place. Ryu? Come on. Now, looking at their full black outfits, they definitely look different from the Freya black outfits that I mentioned last episode. Yeah, I was gonna say the guild should probably be like Switzerland, right? Like the neutral cover you can't fight at. The Continental and John Wick, they would say. Ooh, it's Daphne. Well, that makes him sound even weirder. Apollo is a weirdo. Is that why she said my condolences last episode? Because like, oh, you're you're kind of in it for the long run. Some good magic right there. The chantless magic. Now knowing how strong chantless magic is from Sword of Oratoria, it's so dope. Cassandra's a smart cookie. A wounded rabbit hops over the moon and devours the sun. We, he's been called a rabbit before because of his white hair, you know. Hops over the moon and devours the sun. That is a very prophetic dream. They're like, that's all you needed to say. Wealth and Lily are on the case. Eyes? If we get eyes, Ryu. Oh, I love how Tiona went immediately to tell her. Yes, yeah, because she likes Argonaut too. Nah, come on, Finn. Let her go. That's true. And this is family between family. You have to stay out as a very predominant, influential other family. You can't choose a side. I could see why he'd have an issue with that. Shit, man. I want help, but... I, but Ryu's not a part of a family, right? Anymore, at least, so... That's the Soma? The Soma Familia? That's what that was, right? Jumps over the moon, though, but there's a moon in there. 
oh, this fucker again. And he's completely cool with hurting us, unlike Daphne. Yakintos. Yeah, he's very strong. At least to a level two. Death by a thousand cuts sure is a thing. Don't want that. Oh, I hate when... Yeah, you're also a weirdo just like him. I won't lie, it's a cool looking sword. Ooh, that's Miox Chianthro. Chianthro. Is Miox helping out? But he can't tell it's Miox, uh, Chianthro because she's so far. Yeah, and he's so focused on the sniper that he cannot even move. Oh, see, Take and Miyak, they don't care about this whole being a neutral family. They're gonna help their buddy. I, I fuck with the real ones. I always said I fuck with Uka and Mikoto and Chigusa. Good shit. Good, 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 good. Yes, me too, me too, me too. Such a good guy. I know. I I would hate to leave them. It's smarter to escape because they're actually after you. But I, I I feel I feel so bad leaving them. I will return this favor. Thank you guys. These don't look like the Apollo family. Are they just low level or are these just street thugs? Bell, that's one thing. You know, Bell still might not be the strongest, but he has fantastic friends. I knew I saw the Soma. Those are the Soma Familias, maybe. I knew I saw people the Soma. Zanis. He was the one who met up with Hyan uh, This is the first person of her Familia who's called her out because she's been in disguise ever since she joined Belle's party. Now we got to save her too. Damn it. Yep, I knew that was the Soma logo. Which would make sense now that we saw Apollo meeting up with, not Apollo, but Hia Kenthos, whatever his name is, meet up with Zanis. So now we know that they're in leagues with each other. Interesting. I know Hestia's cool with that, but Bell has such an attachment to Orario now. Normally I would say run, but I think with the comrades we've made, I know it is fighting technically impossible to win battle. This isn't like goddess to familiar child. This is like, this is like lover to lover, you know? This is like, this is a whole different level. You are so lucky you're not asking me that, Hestia. <laughs> it would be a whole different anime. Gave it away with the love talking. That was, she truly confessed right there. We're gonna go talk to the head of the snake himself. So if we're not running away, if we're not fighting, option C is gonna be negotiations? Oh. Okay. At least we're able to hold off on the imminent attack for now. Which I guess it will take any temporary dub we can. Okay, little mini training arc. <sighs> Level three, Bell. Here we come. <sighs> oh, 
I was about to say, I don't think we're going to do that. Oh, she's telling him something because she knows. Okay. Thank the Lord, Tiona. She's like, get lost. Meet me at the top northwest corner right around the... Okay. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Especially with how much controversy is around him. My man is quite the talk of the town. Just give him another training sesh. Yes, give him another week sesh. Roundhouse kick him 28 more times. And we're level 6. Guys, come on, let's do this. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead right now. I'm gonna say, fuck Apollo. Let's do this. Yeah, see, bro, if Makoto joins, like, the party, there's no way she would leave the Take Familia, right? Can you even leave a familia? Cause that's the next thing we gotta do. We gotta get Lily out of the Soma family into ours. Whatever, who's, whoever's nuts we gotta rev, whoever, how much money we gotta pay off, we gotta get Lily on squad, it's a wrap. Well, another what seemed to go hella quick episode. Oh my God, it felt like five minutes. I just remember us waking up. All right, we're gonna go to the dungeon and then boom, the attack happened. And now it's the end of the episode. I'm like, shit. But another fantastic one. Apollo is such a weirdo. His familia is a bunch of weirdos who they're either all about his weirdoness and like I've given my body and my soul, but he still doesn't want me because those are like he's like Apollo's like the Ahsoka just looks for whoever catches his attention right then and there, but is very fickle can lose interest after a while, you know, which, you know, seemed to have happened to Hyakinthos um, and also happened to Daphne and Cassandra, but they seemed to be more like different than Hyak and Thos, whereas he wanted it. They were just like, they, they were like situations like Bell where he chased them down, but they couldn't get away. They had to give in at some point, you know, which Bell's just a different breed. He's literally built different. So I'm curious about that. I'm curious to know how everyone's opinion on Bell is going to change once they, once they know he's the grandson of Zeus, the God, which how do gods even make babies and fuck? Good question. Interesting. But also saw Xanis or Zanis from the Soma Familia come take Lily back. I, he did something, obviously, to fuck with her mental, you know, like Illumi would do to Killua or something to be able to draw her back. She had like this dead glazed look over her eyes and was like, I'm going back. I feel so bad for her. I feel so bad for her situation. I was so happy that she got out of there. But I'm so thankful of Chigusa, Uka, and Mikoto too, and Miyak, Take, Mikazuchi, all clutch, Wealth, Lily, all clutch, saving the boy when he needed it most, all clutch. I understand why Finn, because Ice is really the only, Ice and Tion, Tiona, pretty much, Tiona still has a huge crush on Finn, but I think Tiona and Ice are really the only ones in the Loki familia who truly like Belle, even Loki doesn't really like Belle, she just calls him shrimp, you know? Um, or she calls Hestia shrimp, but you know, you know what I'm trying to say. So it completely makes sense why Loki would want to stay as neutral as possible, especially with a crazy person like Apollo. But I still love how Ice is going behind the back to help him out because she is right. It is wrong to do. So I really like that. But all in all, fantastic episode. Thank you guys for joining me. I will see you on the next one. Peace out, that Dapper Squad. Thank you so much. Have a great day, you guys.